Hey everybody, my name's Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. So before we get into the meat of this, please understand, I know that I am a small town priest on the east coast of Canada. And that what I'm about to say may sound boastful and arrogant. Please I am, I am coming at this from a place of humility. This is simply me trying to come up with a way of verbalizing what I see to be the opportunity for a channel like this in a world like ours. Uh, so the last couple of days I've been pr producing videos pretty quickly and putting them out there. Normally I'm worried that I'm going to saturate you all with too much to think about. I'm not at that place right now. I'm in a place where I'm I'm, I'm in, inspired is the word, but I really feel the need to put this stuff out there. I really feel the need to say the things that I've been saying. And a couple of the comments that have been coming up because of some of the, the videos that I've done, uh, I think it was like Thursday. And, and, they're, and, and by the way, I'm going to mention them. They are right, right? They said, you're preaching to the choir. You know, what, what you're saying here is great, but all of us who are watching it, we already, we're right there with you. We believe what you're saying. We are, we are encouraged by what you're saying. We understand what you're saying. We believe what you're saying. The people that need to hear this aren't watching this channel. Now, you're absolutely right when you say that. You're absolutely right when you say, I'm preaching to the choir. So I want to take a few minutes right now, and I want to talk about strategy. I want to talk about why I think this channel has come to exist. When it all started out, it was meant for, oh, it was a way for me to communicate with my parishioners here in Shelburne, 50, 60 people. We're well beyond that. We're, we're well beyond that. And that's awesome. That's incredible. But I've also, because there's so many more people on here, the mission has changed as well. And I see the mission as twofold, really. Because so many of you believe the way I believe, and by that I mean progressively, not necessarily, not necessarily religiously, not necessarily about faith, but rather about progressiveness. One of the, one of the missions, I believe, going forward with, with, with this channel is to equip. It's to, to, to pastorally take care of people in, in, in such a way that I'm sharing a message that equips you, that empowers you, that, that that encourages you to keep moving in the directions that you're going, to keep moving to, to make this world a better place, to keep moving to improve yourself and to grow your own abilities and your own sense of awareness, your own sense of self, and, 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 and to grow a healthier sense of self and, and, and therefore to help you build up your community. I also think in that same, in that same vein of thought that as we, as we tackle some of, these, some of these theological issues that we've been tackling, perhaps I'm able to say something that helps you when you have an encounter with others, when you have an encounter with others who, who think from the other perspective, and, and therefore you now have something that you can offer back that maybe creates a conversation. And that's what leads into the second aspect of what I think the mission of this channel is. Again, I know I'm speaking to the choir. I know that I'm not speaking to thousands of people on the right-hand side, and all of a sudden making them go, huh, I've got it all wrong. That'd be awesome if I could do that. Today, that's not where I am. It's not where we are as a channel. So I'm looking at this as a, what if one or two? the right, the Christian right, Christian fundamentalism, those people that are, those, those Christian nationalists, those people that need messages like this, that need to hear, need to hear a theology like this. You know, they're not going to hear one of these messages and all of a sudden everything they believe will shatter. But what if one or two of them hear something that was said here? Here's something that you say in the comments, and it, and it gives them reason to think. 
It gives them license to think. It gives them, uh, it gives them a healthy sense of doubt. It makes them ask questions. What if there are people who, who are walking a, a more central line, but in one of those right-leaning environments, hear a message here that, that allows them to lean more to the left, to become more progressive in their thinking? What about those people that are in those, in those right-leaning environments? Who, he, who, who know the teachings of Jesus Christ, who know what Jesus said about loving their neighbor and who aren't hearing it in their environment, hear it here. And, and this gives them the ability, this gives them the wherewithal to begin moving in this direction. What if we reach one or two people with a video? What if we reach three or four people with a video? What if... If a channel like this exists, not to tear down the walls of right-wing nationalist Christianity, but rather to break it apart from the inside. One or two voices at a time, one or two hearts at a time. Not in a manipulative way, in a life-giving way, in a loving way. That this place, as it is a place of safety and conversation for us, becomes a refuge for those who find themselves in those right-leaning environments. I know I'm preaching to the choir, and I'm deeply grateful that you're listening. And I'm going to keep talking. And I'm going to keep exploring, and I'm going to keep asking questions and I'm going to keep doing my best to answer those questions and what I'm going to ask of you is that you continue sharing what we're talking about on this channel that you if you aren't sharing it that you begin sharing it because the only way we're going to reach those one or two is if the messages that we have here are shared one or two today might be four or five tomorrow. It might be seven or eight next month. It might be 15, 16 in six months. And if we can do that, that's a good start. I know it's painfully slow. I know that seems painfully slow. And, and maybe I'm underestimating what we can do. I hope I am. But in the meantime, thank you for being my choir. Thank you for listening to me. If there's anything I can do to help you, to empower you, to encourage you, please let me know. I would really appreciate it if you helped me share this message so that we can continue reaching out to those ones and twos. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and his, may the Lord's graciousness rain down on you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up. And may you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. I am so thankful you're with me on this journey. I can't wait to see what we can do. Amen.